Hello, everybody. Welcome to Dr. Samuel Math videos. I am Dr. Samuel. And we are continuing in this video with basic algebra and moving on to simplification of algebraic expression with brackets. Very important in algebra, and you must understand how to simplify brackets. So let us go. Look at this first set of examples. They all have terms in a bracket. So the first one, this is five multiplied by what's in the bracket, which is y plus three. So we are multiplying five by the whole bracket. To do that is what we use, what we call in algebra, the distributive law. And that is any time you're multiplying a term outside a bracket by terms inside a bracket like this, you multiply the term outside by each term inside. And so therefore, if we multiply five times y plus three in the bracket, we say five times y is five y, and five times plus three, that's a plus times a plus, which is a plus, and five times three is 15. So this is a plus 15. And that is the simplified answer to the term five, the sum five times y plus three. So let's move to number two. We have three times, and in the bracket, we have nine minus two a. Three times nine is 27. And, well, plus three times a minus two a, remember a plus times a negative is a negative, and three times 2a is 6a. And that is the simplified answer. So let us move on to number three, where we have three times 2x minus five. Three times 2x is 6x. And three times minus five, that's a plus times a minus. So it's a negative and three times five is 15. Let's move on. Number four reads minus three, multiply by in brackets five minus two a. So as we did before, we multiply the term outside by each term inside. So uh, negative three times a plus five, that is a minus 15 and negative 3 times negative 2a. Remember, you multiply the signs as well. We know a negative times a negative is a positive. So we are going to get a positive and 3 times 2a is 6a. So it's minus 15 plus 6a. Number five, a negative five times eight a, well, five times eight is 40, and a minus times a plus is a minus, so we're gonna get a negative 40 a, and minus five times minus seven w, negative times a negative is a positive, and five times seven w, that is 30, Five W answer. 
and number six minus 4a times 8x minus 3 in brackets. So first, minus 4a times 8x. Remember, minus times a plus is a negative. 4 times 8, we multiply the numbers to get 32. And a times x is just ax. So we put a x down. Then multiply by the second term in the bracket. Minus 4a times a minus 3. A minus times a minus is a plus. 4a times 3 is 12a. And that is it. Let's move on. Number 7 reads y times y squared, that's y squared minus 7. So we multiply first the y times the y squared. y times y squared is y cubed, because y squared is y times y. And so you multiply in y times y times y, which is y cubed. y times minus 7, a plus times a minus is a minus, and y times 7 is 7y. Seven we put the number first and then the letter. So not y7, seven, but 7y. Seven number 8. Now look at number 8. We have two brackets. We just proceed the same way but you multiply the term outside each bracket by what's in the bracket. So we start with the first bracket, five times y is five y, five times a plus three is a plus 15. Then we go to the second bracket, plus two times y is a plus two y, and plus 2 times plus 7 is a plus 14. But this is not the simplest way to write the expression because, as we saw before, we can add like terms. So we have 5y plus 2y, and that is 7y. And then we have plus 15 and plus 14, and this is a plus 29. And that is the simplified expression. Let's go to number 9. We have 9 times 1 plus 2y in the first, that's the first bracket. So 9 times 1 is 9. And then 9 times plus 2y is a plus 18y. The second bracket, plus 3 times 3, that is a plus 9. And plus 3 times minus y, plus times a minus is a minus. And 3 times y is 3y. So we now add the like terms. 9 plus 9 is 18. And plus 18y minus 3y. We are adding unlike signs. So we subtract and keep the sign of the bigger number, which is plus 18y. So it is plus 18 minus 3 is 15y. Let's move on. So that's our last two examples. We have n times n minus 4 in the first bracket, minus n times 5 minus n in the second bracket. So let's multiply the first bracket. n times n is n squared. So we have n squared, n times minus 4 
is a minus 4n. Go to the second bracket now. Minus n times 5 is a minus 5n. And minus n times a minus n, a minus times a minus is a positive. And n times n is n squared. So we add the like terms. n squared, so we have n squared plus n squared. So this is 2n squared. Remember, n squared is 1n squared. So 1n squared plus 1n squared is 2 n squared minus 4n minus 5n. We have the same sign to add. We just add and keep the sign. So it's a minus 9n. Answer. Let's go to the last one, number 11. First bracket. 5y times 3y, 5 times 3 is 15, y times y is y squared. 5y times plus z is a plus 5yz. We put it in alphabetical order normally. Go to the second bracket. Minus 2y times 4y, a minus times a plus is a minus. 4 times 2 is 8. And y times y is y squared. Then we have minus 2y times minus 3z. A minus times a minus is a plus. 2 times 3 is 6. And y times z is y z add like terms 15 y squared and we have minus 8 y squared squared 15 minus 8 is 7 so we'll get 7 y squared plus 5 y z plus 6 y z that's like terms so 6 and 5 is 11 so it's a plus 11 y z and that is simplification with brackets in the next video we'll continue simplification with brackets but it is um we look at questions where we multiply we multiply two brackets together terms in two brackets together if you like this video Subscribe to my channel by pressing the button below. You can also like the video and share it. See you next time.